Hi class, Mr. Groves here, and welcome to my video on how to unwrap an article that's digital. Now I have posted a video previously on how to unwrap an article and take notes on paper, and that's on my YouTube channel. Now for this, what you're doing is you're applying the steps of unwrap, and remember that U stands for underline the title or subtitle. So let's go ahead and start with that. We'll highlight this, and in order to get it to the highlight color that you, of your choice, uh, mine will be yellow, we'll go ahead and click here where it looks like a little um, marker here. And then I'll click on yellow. Let's go ahead and highlight that here. Click on this and click on that. And let's repeat the step. Next up is N for number of the paragraphs. Now I've had students ask me before, well, how do you do that here? Well, it's easy. You just click over to where everything's been tabbed, as it should be, or indented in this case, and you just go ahead and type a number. Now, I would recommend highlighting it and making it bold, which you can do that here. And basically repeat that step, so that's paragraph one. And usually you're able to tell that it's a new paragraph based on the indentation here. So this one, it's paragraph number two. Alrighty, so the next thing we're doing, we're involving the step W, which is walk through the question. Now, most articles will have questions at the very end that are directly related to the text. Now, I do that, but I also have my students with some articles uh, take notes on them and to put them in a graphic organizer. Okay, so in this case, with a graphic organizer, the questions would basically be these, uh, the main idea. We'll use Tidewater as an example, so we're in our walkie through our question. We're trying to find facts about the Tidewater. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we're on the step R, which is read the text. Now, here's what I expect when it comes to reading the text. Okay, now we're at the Tidewater. Let's look at it really quick. The Tidewater, or outer coastal plain, is located next to the Atlantic Ocean. I'd say that's pretty important. So let's go ahead and highlight that. That's one thing I like for students to do is to either underline, which you can do that, um, or I would actually like it better if you highlight. So let's go ahead and do that. What I did there to underline it was click U, or you can also press Control U or Command U, depending on what computer you're using. Okay. So let's go ahead and go up here, since we've highlighted it, to highlight color. Yellow is what I'd like to use. Um, it doesn't truly matter as long as you can read the text. Two major sounds in the east, or in this case the outer coastal plain, or the Albemarle Sound of the north, and Pamlico Sound of the south. All right, so we've highlighted that. Click highlight color, so we've got that. Now, what I can also do here in order to annotate as part of the reading process, is basically I can highlight this part here, right click on my mouse or mouse pad, and click comment. Okay. And so here we either have to put a summary sentence or a question. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with a question. Where do the names Albemarle and Pamlico? originate, which means come from. Because obviously a lot of these places, there is a story to the name. So where do these names originate? So you click comment, and there you go. That's part of the reading process, or R. Okay, well, some good news here is that we've not only knocked out the R step, but in a way we've prepared ourselves for the A and P steps. So let's go ahead and look at those. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna complete the steps A and P. A as in answer the question, and P, prove your answer. Now, obviously to answer our question, we go back to the graphic organizer here. On the right side, it asks for three facts. And what we gotta do is we gotta go back to the article itself on North Carolina geography, okay. So, we have a couple of facts here, and obviously one thing you could possibly do 
is you read it over and then you type it up in your own words. So we go back to the graphic organizer here and put the first fact. We could say the tidewater is near the Atlantic Ocean. That's important. All right, so we've got some major facts here to back this up. Okay, now we've answered the question, but we gotta make sure we go back and find out what paragraphs they came from so we can give credit where credit is due. Luckily for us, all three facts are in paragraph two. So with that, we go back up here and we'll put, and there's a short way to do this. I'll put like para for short for paragraph two. And then I'll put that for the other ones. Where did you get this information? Because we all get our information from somewhere, right? Paragraph two. Now, there are gonna be situations where you're going to have to use more than one paragraph, but that shows that you found your information somewhere in the text. And it's also an example of what they call textual evidence. Okay, that takes care of unwrap in the digital way.